Hey, this is Jim coming at you with a bit of solo play. Uh, we're playing To the Moon. It's a 2011 pixel RPG thing that is apparently amazing that is in my Steam library and I have never played. <laughs> and we are going to initiate the. I, we're going to explore Johnny's memories, uh, is my understanding. We explored the house. Uh, last time we saw the creepy rabbit room. We've discovered that we don't like Dr. Watts because he's a dick. Initiate. All right, here we go. That's weird because that's Dr. Watts and this is Dr. Rosling. Oh my. This should be the last accessible memory. Disable speech for all except for Johnny. Done. Let's get him. At any time, you can view your position in time by moving the mouse toward the top of the screen. Interesting. I also don't think I really understand the difference between these two. I guess like toddler, ten-year-old, teenager, adultsman, oldersman, oldman. We wish to be technical. Oh, we're much faster now, too. Oh, thank God. So in the current time, these were paintings, but it looks like there's nothing here now. Can we interact with anything? I, I guess I doubt it. Let's check the secret room in the basement. There is no secret room in the basement? Well, I mean, this is constructed space. So that makes sense, I suppose. And let's check... The lighthouse? Question mark? We can still see Johnny's heart rate monitor. On the uh, menu. Let's follow this path. I love the idea of traversing memory. No, there's the lighthouse. Okay. Johnny? Well, what a pleasant surprise. We don't get much of any visitors around here. My name is Dr. Eva Roslin, and this is Dr. Von Matterhorn. Dr. Lorenzo Von Matterhorn. Dr. Neil Watts. Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? Oh, are you two from the agency? How convenient. I've just been thinking of calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. Lily? Actually, you, you, you already called us. <laughs> We're in your dreams. We've come to assassinate you. We're here to fill, fulfill our contract from the relative future. Careful there. If you slip off the cliff, we're going to have to reload this memory. Oh. <laughs> you slip off the cliff, we're going to have to reload this memory. Watch it, Neil. Show some respect. Oh, it's just a program, you know? We know, but this is his last accessible memory, and we need its cooperation. 
Or sometimes it works, we just reboot it. Why would you waste time like that? You... Uh... You're here to take me to the moon, aren't you? Yes, John. I suppose I had a good run. Not good enough, it seems. Jesus, man. So can you do it? Can you take me to the moon? Well, we can't, but you might be able to. Why do you want to go there? I don't know. It's fine, you can tell us. It's essential for helping us to get you to go there. Do you want the fame? The money? You've got to have a motive. I'm sorry, but I really don't know. I just... do. I can already tell this is going to be a pain in the ass. Eh? Nevertheless, Johnny, here's what we'll do. We need to get to your childhood, but it's too distant to do it in one memory hop. So we'll need to traverse through your memories with gradual, backward leaps. Which you have given us permission to do in the relative future. Once we lay down the waypoints in your childhood memories for direct access, we'll return here. That's when you, you'll you need to help us influence the childhood you to become an astronaut. What? Or to get on a giant catapult. I feel like the, they don't have a grip on what Johnny means. I don't think, like, I don't know that he wants to become an astronaut and physically go to the moon. The point is, you'll need to have more to say than just, I don't know. Well, as long as you can take me to the moon, I'll cooperate in any way possible. Good. Now, in order to leap to a memory, we need an item that's of importance to you. Do you have a memento of some sort to get us started? That'll do. It's a bunny. Ladies first. We'll need to prepare this memento first. Oh. Complete the memento. Click the orbs to flip the pieces. I can safely say I don't understand what's going on here. So, so it keeps changing. I did it? Question mark? I have no idea what I was doing. I think I just maybe just needed to click on it a whole bunch. Activate. Wait, what about my privacy? We'll try not to violate what we can avoid. But in most cases, you can't be helped. I'm gonna throw this golden rabbit off the cliff. What the literal fuck is happening? I 
Turn off visibility and interactivity. It'd be messy to be seen. Yeah, yeah, happy? Jeez, what's with all these rabbits? This is really creeping me out. We should probably have checked his record for psychopathy first. The... Did he hear me? That's impossible. It's probably just a part of this memory. Then I stand by my point. Anyway, quit blabbering and find a memento here to hop from. So, I mean, my first guess is the platypus, but apparently the platypus is not it. The umbrella? And the mechanics of this entirely? Let's go upstairs. <laughs> so I was trying to find objects that are that like matter to them. I feel like this the whole game is going to take place in a really tight contained space, so I'm really excited about that. Wildflowers? Don't. If we have to explain our presence to him in every memory, I'd go crazy. Don't tempt me. Okay. So we don't we don't interact with John. Oh, handbag. What is this? A million years old? I guess we'll find out. A glass bottle of pickled olives. Pfft, I hate this stuff. Doctor Watts, you're incorrect. What's the hate? It's pickled olive. Exactly. Emperor's New Clothes by Hans Christian Andersen. Alright. So we're just exploring this space. So now we can use the umbrella. Hadouken! What the fuck? What's that? What? That's it. I'm doing the breaking from now on. Alright, so let's prepare the memento. Okay, so it flips. I understand now. It's a flipping puzzle. There we go. Look at that. Now I understand the nature of the thing. Let's activate this memento. To convince him to be an astronaut? I still think it's metaphorical. 
Oh, and we're not we're not traveling strictly speaking based on those visions of John. We're we're moving sort of further backward in time. When it comes to rain, through is better than on to. I don't mind it regardless. It seems like these memory hops only span a short period of time. We need to find a leaping memento, or this is gonna take forever. Eh, just enjoy the scenery. Platypus? Postman? Okay, so we got... Honestly, I just don't think this animal has the right to exist. The world's not big enough for two of you. Alright, let's go inside the lighthouse. Requires three bars of memory links to proceed. In memory of River E. Wiles. Well, it's finished, River. So this is this is his wife, I suppose. Like you, I'll be able to watch over her every day. She won't be alone anymore. I might never understand why, but I stay true to your wish. I'm sure Anya's grateful to you, too. When I'm gone, who's gonna watch over us? I was just passing by. Was she your wife? Yes. Her name was River. That's a special name. It didn't need to happen, but tell me about the rabbits. Hmm? She... She didn't need to do it. You wouldn't understand. Hell, I don't even understand. Well, that was a thing that happened. Anya is someone John Arbor cared for. Okay. About time you got here. I thought you fell off a cliff. What are you doing? Enjoying the scenery. What else? There's another platypus up here? Any luck here? Big luck. Huge. Dinosauric. This place looks pretty empty. It's a lighthouse. What'd you expect? Anyway, I'll catch you on the other side. Have fun re-breaking the barrier for yourself. Broken lighthouse lamp. Ooh. Oh, and then it appears with a barrier, and that is the barrier to the past. So let's prepare the memento, now that we understand the nature of the puzzle. 
Ideal shows the minimum number of moves the memento can be completed in. So hypothetically we can complete this in three moves. Yeah, I see it. Bam! Activate. Plah! We're all in on this game now, by the way. Oh my god, it's so good! Now we're at, like, Adultsman? Or Old... Just enough. After we pay for your operation, we'll have just enough left for it, so you don't, don't you worry. White lie. That's what you call it, right? No, I'm sure we can just stop it. I don't like it when you lie. I don't know why they're from the deep south. I don't. I just don't care. I calculated our finances. I know how it's like. Why do you try and convince me against my will? Well, we need the money for your medical bills, River. I understand that Anya means a lot to you, but this, this is just too much. I mean, she, she doesn't even... Do you know what makes me happy, Johnny? What? Do you? Well, I do. I just... Hope you can help me with it. River. When the papers for my treatments get here, I will not sign them. What you do with our money is up to you. But if you would grant my wish, I want you to use it to finish building that house. And then, for every day you live there, I want you to watch over her. Visit her, speak to her, comfort her. I don't want her to be alone anymore. What about you? Happy. I'll be happy. Johnny. Here. I made this. Yeah? Tell me what it is. What? Just tell me what it is. It's a rabbit, like all the others you made. What else? Oh, uh, it's made of paper. What else? body is yellow and the rest is blue. What the hell are you good? What else? The river. This is very confusing. I wrote a song. It's for you. Okay. Would you like to hear it? Yes. You didn't have to bring the piano in here for this. I can hear you just fine with the door open. The notion of a man moving a grand piano out of love is pretty awesome and powerful. It's called for a river. Why so cliche? Yeah, it's, it's just a placeholder. So important, shouldn't we have seen her in his late memories? Am 
My guess is it's a child that they miscarried. Or, or who died young. Well, I guess he didn't keep that promise after all. Unless... Unless what? Rosalind thinks Anya's the platypus. <laughs> That's the same song the kids were playing earlier, right? Eh? Uh, I guess he taught them. You know what? I'm too manly for this. I'm heading on. I already got my memory links. You want to hitch a quick ride or look for yourself? Oh, so now I get the option to do it. We'll stick around. Go on ahead. I'll catch up for you, with you. Don't you miss the days when memory audio to MP8 conversion was legal? I think I brought home over 2,000 songs during my first year on this job. Okay, so that's our memento. The Emperor's New Clothes, which is her favorite book. Oh, we can move through the rabbits now. That's good. Alright. Let's go downstairs. Pickled olives? Yeah. Someone really likes these. Mixed dough? I'm telling you, there's just no way. What if we take it apart? Look at us, John. We're not exactly the ripe age of piano moving. You know what? If this means that much to you, I'll pay for the professionals to do this. I can't help saving that house for you, so this is the least I can do. Oh, we're all charged up. understand how the, the ideal is four moves. Oh right, I forgot about the diagonal one. That would be super helpful. Oh, it goes diagonal up. Yeah, I guess, yeah, like straight out from the corner.
I have no clue what I'm doing here. I understand how it works now. There we go. Got there. So we'll activate this uh, next time. See everybody later. God. We're all in on this. We're 100% we're finishing this. Thanks for coming. Isn't that music?